Say after me, I feel happy, I feel healthy, and I feel terrific. I'm Bernard Smalls, and we are engaged in the Law of Attraction, and we're calling this a Law of Attraction Workshop. Well, why would you call it a workshop? Well, first of all, because you have to go to work on your thought life, go to work on your mindset, go to work on your mental attitude. What we are all about here at the Center for I Am is personal development. I want to help you to develop personally so that you will prosper and live in health even as your soul prospers because that's the promise that you can prosper. You can live in health as your mind, your will, your emotions prosper. So what we do is teach you things that will help you to get a checkup from the neck up. And we call this Law of Attraction Workshop because we're dealing specifically with the Law of Attraction. Well, what is the Law of Attraction? Have you thought about that much? The Law of Attraction, first of all, is a, a universal law, or you could call it a spiritual law. And many say it's the most powerful law in the universe. Because we as people, we as human beings, we as homo sapiens are like magnets and we attract to us whatever we think about. What we think about, we bring about. And in fact, we really attract to us what we are. Now think of a magnet. Now as kids, we all like to play with magnets. What would happen if you got a, a bag of tacks and um, a tack is a little sticky, uh, uh, sharp, uh, pointed uh, uh, thing that you nail something in the wall. You don't see them as much anymore. Well, you see thumbtacks. But nevertheless, you put a magnet near the tax. What's going to happen to the tax? They will be drawn to the magnet, attracted to the magnet. Well, that's the way you are. You can become a money magnet. You can become a prosperity magnet. You can become a success magnet. But you need to start thinking success. And I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem is the negativity in the world. And the negativity in the world system is always attacking your mind. Have you noticed that? Negativity, inflation, failure, lack of finances. The Democrats or Republicans are going to mess the world up. Then we got Russia. Then we got, oh, the end of the world, negativity. Well, what you're going to have to learn to do is navigate through all of that and become that attractive magnet, which attracts what you're thinking about. Well, what you're thinking about is what you're going to bring about. And this is because of what's called the law of vibration. Now, the law of vibration in, in simple layman's terms simply means this. Thank you so much again for joining me. That everything vibrates in the universe and everything vibrates at a certain vibrational frequency. Now, a frequency has, well, um, power in it. And a frequency is a connection. Uh, well, I think of radio. When I, I go back to the radio days, I remember we owned a radio station and we had a certain frequency, which was the number I found out later of why the radio station was the number it was. But that frequency, when you tuned into that number on your dial, you attracted our radio station. Well, thought has frequency. In fact, thought vibration is really thought frequency. So to make it simple, if you're thinking poverty, you're vibrating poverty. And what are you going to tune into? Poverty. What are you going to attract? Poverty. If you're thinking prosperity, you're attracting prosperity. And what are you going to have? Prosperity. What are you going to attract? Prosperity. What are you going to hear on your radio station? Prosperity. For as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And what we think about, we bring about thoughts are things. And this power of vibration is so powerful that uh, scientists have discovered that everything in the universe is vibrating. Now, when you vibrate health, you will have vibrant health. How do you vibrate it? You think it. When you vibrate wealth, you will have abundance of wealth. How do you vibrate it? You think it. Do you see how important the mind of man is? What you think about, you bring about.